In this video, I'm gonna show you the exact four stage process I use to help runners activate and strengthen their glutes so that you can use your glutes more effectively as you run. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first stage, and this is something that a lot of people neglect, they overlook, is the importance of activation work to actually get you learning how to switch those glute muscles on in the first place. So you can do this in a number of different ways, depending on which glute muscles you're trying to actually focus on. But in this instance, let's take a look at glute med. The glute muscle around the outside of the hip complex, which is responsible for lateral control and stability around the hip. In this ground-based position, side lie, I'm just gonna support the head with this hand, but what I really want to focus on is moving this top leg from the hip specifically. So I want you to put your hand on the outside of those butt muscles. I want you to keep the leg straight and I want you to lift up, really focusing on the movement coming from here. Again, knee straight and then kick back towards the wall behind me. Again, we're not kicking from the knee, the knee stays straight. We're kicking back from the hip. I'm gonna hold this position for 10 seconds and with my hand on the outside of those gluteal muscles, I can feel that these muscles are now tense, they're working hard, I can feel the effort coming from these glutes to lift the leg. After 10 seconds, we're in and down, and then we go again, up and kick back, holding for 10 times, 10 second holds. And we do this on both sides. 10 times 10 second holds is a really nice way of just beginning to build some isometric strength in those glute muscles, but also, start to learn the feeling, and this is the most important bit. Learn what it should feel like to actually engage through your glutes. Now, to begin with, it might feel that it takes quite a lot of mental energy, mental effort, to really connect that feeling of squeezing your butt muscles as you lift the leg, but over time it will get easier. Now, from here, from this initial position where we're on the floor, ground-based, we're then gonna take this into the second stage, which is where we focus on isolated strength and stability. Now, a good exercise for that, again, following the same kind of thought process where we're looking to target glute med, is a single leg fire hydrant exercise where we've got the band just below your kneecaps. The band offers a little bit of resistance, and this exercise actually really starts to target both legs at once, just in different ways. You're gonna stand on one leg, other knee is bent up underneath you. Now, this standing knee is soft, Okay, we're not squatting down, but I also don't want you to lock the knee out straight. So soft knee standing there. Hands on your hips, we're looking to keep the hips level as I get you to pull out against the band and then again, kick back ever so slightly. You should feel the same muscles working as you felt when you were lying on the floor, but this time pulling against the resistance of the band. Again, we're gonna hold for two or three seconds this time and then come back to the start point. You're gonna do 15 reps of one, two, three, and back. Now you're working through the standing leg. So, I'm sorry, you're working the moving leg around the hips. Again, using your glutes to pull out and back, but you're also working hard through your standing leg to provide stability and control so that you're not allowing that knee to drift in towards the midline as the band wants it to. You're having to resist what the band is trying to influence the knee with. Now, three sets of 15 on each side is a real challenge with this one, and you'll feel that over time you get better and better and better at controlling that movement. But you should feel that on one hand, you feel the effort through glute med on this side, but you also feel on the standing leg around here, you've got a lot of the work coming from, again, that gluteal region. If you feel like you're working hard through your calves on the standing leg or your feet are clawing, there's actually a video, and I'll leave a link down in the description, which will talk a little bit about where in the standing leg we need to find that stability from. If you're not working hard enough around here, again, lazy, weak glutes, then chances are you'll be picking up the slack, as it were, and doing more work through your calves to provide stability around the ankle. So check out the link down in the description if that sounds like you. Now the third uh, exercise, the third stage of this, is to then start getting you working through a larger range of motion, focusing on functional strength. Now a good exercise, there are a number of different exercises we could use here. A good exercise for this will be something like a, a single leg deadlift. So again, I'll just show you from this angle, where either just bare hands, you can go hand 
to opposite big toe and back up, or you could grab a medicine ball or a couple of dumbbells and work through the same movement. But I actually really like an arabesque for this. So same kind of movement from the hips, but again, it challenges you a little bit more from a posterior chain point of view. So you're having to keep your back straight, head up, and again, work through big range of motion from the hips. Okay, this forces you to maintain a better posture, whereas a single leg deadlift, a lot of the time, people compromise their position and their posture through their torso. They round their shoulders forwards. This, I find, far better whole body exercise with a, a real focus on, again, forcing you to hinge at the hip, strengthen those glutes, and provide stability for the standing leg. Again, for this exercise, I'll leave a full tutorial down as a link in the description, so do check that one out. But with these, I'll be looking to get three sets of 15 on each side. To begin with, if you can only control a short range of motion, so you're here, and that's all you can control, then great. But over time, you get better and better, you'll be able to go lower and lower into the movement, and your goal is to be able to get down to horizontal. You'll feel a good stretch through your hamstrings, but your glutes are having to work hard to control that movement. Now, the fourth stage is actually all about your running form. Now, your running form, it has a big part to play in terms of how you're able to use your glutes while you're running. And I've made a whole video to do with how to use your glutes through improving your running form right here. So check that one out next. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber here on the channel, because it's my job to help you run strong and run injury free. I'll see you in the next video.